so the very last day of go to life yeah. which is when you came back you did the prison sequence in in yes Kata? yeah yes when you finished that last shot what did both of you say to each other bless you he cried for i think a long time uh, that that day the reaction was normal actually so i was relieved uh, because he was in the hospital he you know uh, he got better then we were shooting and that day he cried and the reaction was normal which is what i expected him to do uh, but even more special was that the first time i spoke to the real najib is that day really yes so najib was always accessible he is obviously a very good friend of benjamin the writer and a good friend of blessy the director and i could have spoken to him met him any day any time any number of times but blessy and me decided that we will keep it another way that i create my own interpretation of what and who najib is from what blessy has written on paper and last day after we had so we invited najib to the location uh, for the last day shoot last day after i gave the last shot is when i walked behind the camera and i spoke to najib for the first time and we have in fact recorded that conversation we have filmed that conversation and i hope it will it will come out sometime yeah did you cry i think i hid the fact that i was crying so <laughs> yeah i mean i was i i was obviously expected to act cool and uh, but i mean it's just a, a momentous occasion and yeah. the sense that uh, so a, a lot of the people who are now associated with the film might have a story about 5 years to tell you maybe 6 years to tell you uh rahman sir was one of the first people who came on board so maybe he could tell you a story about 7 years but blessy and me you know <laughs> we have a story about 16 years so yeah for for the both of us it was a momentous occasion but i actually don't think there is ever going to be like a final farewell to rdz with them and najib it is so strange because when you live with the process of ideating for a film and a character for this long it could be the most random moments like i could be i could be shooting in portugal for some other film completely not connected to this and one day i could just suddenly zone out and be thinking of najib you know be thinking of oh so then what would he have thought of when that happened i am assuming that is still going to happen 5 years after the film is released i don't think my brain will be wired to stop that just because a film has released i don't think my brain will tell me oh the film has now released now you can stop i don't think that's going to happen i'm sure 2031 if i'm still alive and well i'll be somewhere and suddenly i'll zone out into thinking oh so what would najib have najib have been doing then so that will keep happening so i'm thinking there is never going to be a final farewell to najib and the goat life for me how lovely yeah. how lovely thank you <laughs>